This couple of days will be pretty eventful. This morning I got uh, my walking test, my chest x-ray, my breathing tests, and my uh, visit with the respirologist here in Ottawa. Tomorrow morning I have a video conference with the University Health Network with the transplant doctor. And who knows, maybe I'll find out a bit more about uh, what's next. So just to give you an idea of what my oxygen is like when I'm fully oxidized. <laughs> and that's what happens when I take a few steps without the oxygen. And push hard all the way out until you're completely empty. Push out for as long as you can. Now, big breath in again and take a break. You can take your mouth off. You can take, put your oxygen on if you want. That's my wife in the background. It's uh, August 21st. It's our 37th wedding anniversary today. So she's a, a, obviously a huge part of this and, uh, and my most important support person. Uh, that's my other support person over there, Doug. Uh, Doug's my brother, uh, also a retired rheumatologist. So luckily he helps translate a lot of this stuff so that uh, I can understand it better. Anyway.
Hey guys, I'm doing just fine. You're not gonna believe this. They're encouraging me to fart and burp in public. Um, it's part part of recovery. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Best to everybody. Um, where it's it's all good. It's unbelievably good. So take care, you guys. Talk soon. Bye. So my life has been saved by someone else whose life has been lost. And uh, as you can imagine, that's a real tough one to come around. It's pretty hard to put together a video on this one Twitter because they don't last very long. I want to try to write a few tweets. I'll never do it all justice. But all I can say is that in someone's darkness, my life was saved. And I just can't thank that person enough.